Well, you know, not very many people ask the question of why do honeybees make honey? There are a few other types of bees that do make honey in a way, but not as we know it, not as honey out of the jar. Now the reason that they make honey is that honeybees don't completely hibernate over the winter, nor do the numbers decrease to a level that um, there's not any bees. I think typically in the summertime there could be up to 80,000 bees, honeybees in a colony. And in the winter it drops down to about 10,000, which is still quite a lot. And if they don't go completely dormant over the winter, they need food. So honey is for honeybees to survive the winter. Now as a beekeeper, there's a few things that we have to make sure of in the autumn um, as far as keeping our bees alive over the winter. Um, we've got to do some checks on whether or not they have enough food, so enough of their own honey. And if not, we have to feed them. And I, as a beekeeper, I prefer just to let the bees have their own natural honey. So I rarely, if ever, these days, uh, feed my bees with sugar water or fondant. And uh, so this, this autumn, I noticed that uh, Bluebell, my blue hive, is not doing as well as um, my white hive. And so what I've been doing is using a rapid feeder to feed Bluebell back some honey. Now Primrose, my white hive, she's doing great. Um, quite a few supers filled with honey. And so what I might actually end up doing if it's still kind of mild enough um, in a month or so is maybe move one of those supers filled with honeycomb over onto Bluebell. We'll see though. I've put quite a bit of honey into Bluebell, so hopefully that will fill up the comb and she'll be ready to prepare for the winter and to last the winter. And also the honey is there for early spring. So in early spring, honeybees need to recoup their numbers. They start producing a lot more bees and they're out there foraging and they need that extra honey as energy. There's not a whole lot around that time of the year. Quite a bit of pollen, but not as much nectar. Other things that I've been doing is making sure that the colonies are safe from rodents. So in the dead of winter, although the bees are not hibernating, they're in a state where they're just clustered together, trying to keep warm. They're not as aggressive. So if a mouse comes in, and decides it's going to feast on all the honey and the bees, they eat both, then they won't be able to defend themselves. So I've put mouse guards on the front. I've also pinned the Varroa floor in the back so that they can't come in through the back. And hopefully that should keep out any rodents or pests. It has in, in years past. Now I'm using mouse guards on both my colonies rather than uh, entrance excluders, so, or entrance reducers. And that's because it's important to keep airflow through the colony in the winter. But um, if your colony is suffering a bit, or you're afraid that it might get robbed by another colony, then you would use those kind of blocks in the entrance. I've not done that. I have in years past, but I think the mouse guards are going to be just fine. We have very, very mild winters here on the Isle of Man. Other things I've been doing is I've been putting the inserts back into the Varroa floor. So that's to reduce the amount of air coming into the colonies and also kind of protecting the back with a wooden slat so that any kind of rain will hopefully fall off at an angle along there. And the last thing that I've been doing is uh, just clearing up around the colonies and I took home my lure hive. So I have a small nuke box that I keep nearby. So in case one of the colonies decides it's gonna swarm, you know, it's welcome to move in there. And then I can start up a new colony with uh, the bees that move in. But they won't need that over the winter. So I'm taking it home and storing it in the garage for over the winter. So. I'm not completely finished with winterizing my colonies, but I'm nearly there. And if the, the weather does stay mild like it is today, then I will continue to feed back um, honey to Bluebell. And I've got quite a bit left over from my extraction earlier in the summer. And I have quite a bit of older honey that wasn't quite up to standard. So it's, it's been heated and it's baker's honey rather than, than raw, pure honey and they'll much more enjoy eating that than sugar water. It's much healthier for them. They made it in the first place. So I will keep you updated with my bees, probably in the community tab on my channel. And if you have any questions, leave them below. And also, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. 
and subscribe if you enjoy gardening videos, DIY, and of course beekeeping.